So, um, I found out about this place, Muji, when I was in London. And uh, it's from Japan. It's sort of this, I guess, Ikea of Japan. They got a lot of really cool stuff in here, um, stuff that I actually use. Um, we'll walk past it in a second. But what's kind of funny is uh, things are like in Japanese and stuff. But they got good pint glasses, that's for sure, a good size. They got clothes as well, and I'm not exactly sure what this stuff is, but in any event. So some of the things that I use, one of these things, fountain pen. Yeah, believe it or not, blogger like me using a fountain pen, go figure. Um, so things aren't really expensive here at all. It's kind of pretty cheap and inexpensive, but uh, some things are kind of like not really worth it. Sort of like this. It's a, it's a, it's a forty-dollar. I'm not sure what it is because it's in Japanese. But um, there's something here I want to show you that I thought was really neat. One second, let's go find it. Hold on. Ah, yeah, the CD player that goes up on the wall. That's kind of a kind of a cool thing, and, um, and it's not really a toothbrush, but it kind of looks like I guess I don't know. It's not really a toothbrush, but uh, they got cookware also. And just everything seems to be uh, seems to be uh, Japanese out here, which is kind of fun, kind of different. But like I said, like I found this place when I was in in London and got a whole bunch of these little stuffed animals and uh, brought them home but the funny notepads good stuff um, and, and, and brought them home and I was like yay Muji I found this place right and then I was kind of like disappointed when they originally uh, came to uh, came to New York and I saw somebody walking around with a uh, with a bag of theirs but in any event uh, I felt like oh so they found out about it and they moved it here. So here's the outside of the store. It's actually, um, if you take a look, it's attached to the, um, ironically again, another ironic feature about Muji and me, it is attached to the New York Times building, which is kind of a, uh, a funny thing to be attached to. But in any event, Muji lives on in my heart.